going on, y'all? I wanted to do a redo of the Lux Day edition, um, basically to see how this will work out a little bit better or, or whatever. So I'm pretty much to say the same stuff, but this is just like a redo of what I did before. So basically, I'm coming at you with all this information that I gave to you before in a different format or whatever. Um, so first, I'm gonna start talking about uh, the Omarosa and Wendy Williams show and everything that had happened on that show. Unbelievable. Omarosa came on that show, basically tried to give her, you know, all of what she had and tried to like get catch Wendy Williams off guard. Um, I really thought that Omarosa was very evil on that show, you know what I'm saying? She did not come across the right way and I would have definitely given her the boot if uh, she had to come on the stage doing some of the stuff that she did. But basically, just like Wendy Williams said, Omarosa was coming on there to have her moment, you know what I'm saying? So it was really, really weird uh, to see her come on there, try to promote her book and try to go off on Wendy at the same time. Craziness. I really thought that um, Wendy handled herself very well in a situation like that and I gave her her kudos for that, you know what I'm saying? But not for, for uh, Omarosa. She lost a lot of cool points. I mean, you know, she's supposed to be the number one villain in TV God or whatever. Uh, she just lost all interest with me, you know. Some people just take it to the extreme and I think she, she pushed it. She pushed it to the extreme, uh, especially on the Wendy Williams show. With all of these things, I really want you guys to get back with me on everything that I talk about. Talk to me about Omarosa and Wendy Williams. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me how you feel about what happened and how that went down. Let me know what your feelings are on situations like that. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the Solange, which is playing right now. I'll turn it up a little bit so you can hear it. Uh, the new I Decided uh, single just came out just recently. Um, well, not recently, but it came out at the, like around March. I had it in March. Uh, it really started leaking a lot more in June, and the video came out in July. So it's a really, really good uh, CD. It's going to be full of lots of 60s type groove, uh, soul grunge type stuff that you're going to want to you're going to want to cop it up. Uh, it's called uh, Solange Presents Soul Angel and the Haley Street Dreams. Haley Street Dreams. Um, please go pick it up. Really, it's an album that you should cop. Uh, so she has a lot of good style on there. Um, everybody tries to compare to Beyonce, but I'm really feeling like she's finding herself right now. And you can't compare to Beyonce because she really has a lot going on in the CD. It's really, really nice. So go out, pop that CD up. It'd be really nice uh, to go out and see, um, to go and listen to. Michelle Williams, yes, I'm getting the whole nose stuck on here. Also has a whole uh, has a whole um, CD that's coming out on August 12th. The line is coming out August 26th. On the 12th, Michelle's coming out with Unexpected. Break the Dawn is one of the top dance songs right now on the chart. She really is doing it up on this one. Michelle Williams is really breaking through on this album, and I'm really proud of her. Please go cop up that album. She's really doing a great job. She's chatted back and forth with me a couple of times, um, and I really, I really have enjoyed um, talking to her um, about everything that's coming up with these, these albums and everything. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on was the Beijing Olympics. The Beijing Olympics are coming up um, in August, August 8th. And a lot of things have been happening. And one of the things I was hearing most recently was something that happened as to where they were saying that the blacks and Mongolians were not going to be able to have access to the pub at the Olympics. Last time I checked, I thought the Olympics was a place that would bring people together, not tearing people apart. So that really was a shocker to me that a lot of that was going on in Beijing at this time and that that would happen. Go check some stuff out. Look online. Tell me what you think about something like that. What do you think about that? Beijing Olympics having that happen to them? That's really crazy. Really wild. Um, also, I wanted to talk about an upcoming show on CNN, which is called um, Black in America. Um, it debuted today. Um, it's going to be re-shown again tonight. Uh, it starts at 9 p.m. Eastern. There's two parts. And the other part is going to be shown uh, tomorrow on Thursday. It's on the 23rd and 24th of July. So go check that out. Get your mind rolling. I know most of you are back in school. You want to get that mind clicking or whatever. Get on the ball. Go watch a show like that. It, it really uh, will be inspiring. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the Rihanna incident. Rihanna and the song Disturbia. This video was very disturbing to me in general. It was like it wasn't, I mean, it was just out of this world crazy. 
Um, I really want to get your views on it. Go check out Rihanna's video on YouTube. Go look at it. it it's it's not for children to see. It's just a it's it's a crazy video. Uh, I got one comment uh, back from somebody saying that it was growing on them. You know what I'm saying? But I believe that uh, hey, you need to watch it. Tell me what your thoughts are on it. Um, it's very interesting. It's nothing like what Rihanna has done before. A lot of people were. Uh, they kind of compared it to Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. I didn't get that from it. Go check it out. Tell me what you think on it. Um, that is basically all I have for you today. I want you to also make sure you go out and check out Wendy Williams' show, which comes on um, daily. Um, it's on its it's in its sixth week sneak preview. You know what I'm saying? And it's in Dallas. It's in Los Angeles, Detroit, and it's in New York. So those are the four places it's in. Um, hopefully it'll go national. Um, after this six weeks, it'll be really nice to see Wendy Williams on there. Her show is really, really great. I, I do enjoy it. Um, so if you have any more comments, questions, let me know. Please go out, vote Obama. I'm supporting him. Obama 8. Tune in next time to um, my edition, Dave's edition. All right. Talk to y'all later. Peace out.